Hello, this is Russ Stewart, Customer Service Engineer for Textron Aviation. Today's video will discuss the flying control cables on the Hawker 125 series aircraft. These unique cables are identified not only by the cable construction, how many wires and strands it has, but also by the cable diameter in inches. These cables are identified by CWT or 100 weight. The primary flight control system uses either 1500 weight or 2500 weight cables. The flap and air brake system use 1000 weight cables and the trend system cables are 500 weight cables. Most cap stands will use fractional cables. As stated earlier, CWT stands for 100 weight. In the identification of the cable it represents, the minimum weight load and 100 weight a cable can bear without breaking. In the U.S. Weights and Measurement System, a 100 pounds would be a 100 weight, but in the U.K. Imperial Weight and Measurements, it is equal to 112 pounds. The reason is this. The Imperial System utilizes the stone as a measurement of weight. In the Imperial System, a 100 weight is equal to 8 stones or 4 quarters, 1 quarter is equal to 2 stones, and 1 stone is equal to 14 pounds. Therefore, 8 times 14 equals 112 pounds or 100 weight. A 500 weight cable would have a minimum breaking load of 560 pounds. A 1000 weight cable is 1120 pounds and so forth. Keep in mind the cable diameters between 100 weight cables and dimensional cables are similar, but an 8 inch cable and a 500 weight cable, although similar in size, there is enough of a difference to affect the cable tensions. The correct type of tensiometer must be used to set 100 weight cable tensions. When adjusting cables, ensure the proper tensiometer and riser are used for the cable being adjusted, and to also use the conversion chart for that tensiometer. Make sure that the serial number for the tensiometer matches the conversion chart. For correct rigging of the flying control cables, the airplane must be standing on the nose and main landing gear with the fuel tanks empty. If the airplane has been flowed at high altitude or low temperature for a prolonged period of time, it is advisable to allow the airplane to stand for approximately six hours to stabilize the structure temperature. The control system cable tensions must be correct for ambient temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. See the chart in the aircraft maintenance manual for each control circuit. If there is any deviation from the above temperature, the tensions quoted should be decreased for a fall in temperature or increased for a rise in temperature by the chart in the aircraft maintenance manual. If you have any questions on this video, you can contact the Hawker team at 1-800-429-5372 or email us at hawker underscore 125 underscore support at txtav.com.